Hey guys, uh, Rob Wolf here, uh, Road Forger, but actually at home. Um, I don't know how to do uh, multiple YouTube uh, accounts to go back to the same page. So uh, Road Forger is going to be some stuff cooking at home also, but uh, quick eat. And what we're going to look at today is actually the use of a pressure cooker. I have a, I think this thing's a Presto pressure cooker, stainless steel. Yeah, Presto. This thing is about 12 years old. And I think it's the four quart variety, has a rubber gasket. In 12 or so years of owning this thing, I've had to replace the gasket about three times. So it's pretty hardy, uh, pretty cool little contraption, a little bit of scorchage in there when I've let some other things get out of control. But today we're gonna check out uh, some acorn squash, which I picked this up along with a bag of acorn squash from the uh, local farmer's market. And I think I got this thing for like $1.25, which was a pretty good deal. Organic, local, all that sort of jazz. So I'm going to cut this stuff up, throw it in the pressure cooker, then kind of describe how to set the pressure cooker up with this thing. So I'll be back in a second. So I've cut this acorn squash into quarters, basically. But I, I cut it uh, lengthwise and then in half. And what this does is it makes kind of a nice little scoopable serving dish. Um, I just keep the seeds in there. People scoop out the seeds and toss them. They do have a little bit of omega-6, uh, that short chain uh, linoleic acid, but um, I'm not concerned about that given the amount that I consume and they have some other good yummy stuff in them. So uh, I'm gonna set this up in the pressure cooker and then we'll be off and cooking. Okay, so the pressure cooker is in the sink and you only need a little bit of water a uh, little bit being maybe about, let's see here, probably about a half an inch. Half an inch to an inch, like you really don't need that much water to cook with a pressure cooker. Uh, we'll kind of go over what the pressure cooker does here in a minute. But I just kind of load this stuff up so that I keep the uh, real nutrient dense, nice carotenoid looking stuff pointing up. And then this whole thing goes over on the stove. Get this set up on the stove, try to pan out a little bit. Now, the way that you set up the pressure cooker depends on the variety. This Presto is pretty typical though. Uh, you need to throw the lid on at about a, if this was a, a clock, about a 5.30 orientation. Like if I go a little bit too far, it doesn't go on. I go right around that 5.30 orientation and then there's a lock which locks this into place. There's a little safety valve right here, which is going to pop up as it's cooking. And then we have a, a steam release, which a little weighted cap goes on top of that. And the way that, here, let me start this thing really quick. One second. Okay, so I've got a high heat, got this thing rolling. The way that the pressure cooker works is that uh, at, because we have a closed system here, the pressure goes up and so the temperature of the system is able to go up. Uh, if you look into chemistry or physics books, P1, V1 equals P2, V2 or PV equals NRT type stuff. And uh, basically as the, the temperature of a closed system goes up, um, usually the pressure goes up or vice versa. So we use some increased pressure and we're able to cook at a higher temperature and therefore cook this stuff much faster. This acorn squash would normally take about 45 minutes of cooking on the stovetop. We're going to cook about 10 minutes and this thing is going to be done. And it's just very little uh, effort on my part to cook it. Uh, it's very nutrient rich the way that we cook this. We, we don't leach any of the nutrients out of it because we're not boiling it. It's effectively a high temperature steaming and it's pretty easy. And then like in Chico, it's uh, hot and we, uh, uh, you know, you don't want to heat the house up a whole lot, at least during the summer. And so it's still pretty warm. It's about 98 degrees today in Chico. So this is actually going to cook this acorn squash quickly, easily. I just did a workout. So I'm looking for some post-workout carbs. Uh, the pressure cooker is probably not all that interesting to look at for minutes on end, but that's kind of what's going on. So we'll check back with this when the little hat is rocking and so that folks can see that sometimes people are intimidated about using a pressure cooker. All right, folks, we have some high drama in action now. The, uh, the little pressure release uh, hat is shaking. This thing weighs a good bit, like it's a little heavy piece of metal. What it does is it blocks most of the steam coming out until you reach a certain uh, uh, pressure. And I, if I remember, like, it, it, so basically water boils at 212 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. What, what the pressure cooker does is because it uh, pressurizes the steam, it allows the total cooking temperature to get up to like 270, 280 degrees, to, therefore like dramatically 
uh, speeding the cooking process. So now, uh, here's one of the most important things that folks will learn to use in the kitchen if you want to cook time effectively, which is just simply your kitchen timer. So that little hat started rocking, so don't come a knocking. And uh, so I'm going to put this thing on for about 10 minutes. Right up there. I'm going to pop this thing down on medium and then just let this thing cook. And when the timer goes off, it'll alert me to take this thing off the stove and I'll crack it open and show you guys what the finished acorn squash looks like. All right, guys, so the uh, timer went off and uh, turned everything off, turned the heat off. Uh, it took maybe about two minutes for the pressure cooker to go down to normal pressure. This little uh, lock mechanism used to be up, but it dropped back down. So now I take the top off of the pressure cooker, slide the lid open, and it's uh, still super hot. But what we find is that the uh, acorn squash is like perfectly cooked. This was about 10 minutes, and it just kind of depends on if you like it a little crunchy. I like mine cooked really, really well. And then I'm just gonna fish that stuff out. The 10 or so minutes while that was cooking, I threw some grass-fed steak on the grill. So that stuff's been cooking. So I mean, it, you know, it's been maybe 15 minutes of, of meal prep, but Nikki and I will each get two meals out of this and uh, minimal uh, time investment to manage this stuff. So we'll look at the pressure cooker more. Again, this is a Presto, I believe it's a four quart uh, stainless steel pressure cooker. There are some aluminum pressure cookers out there. I'm not so much worried about leaching out of the aluminum, but it, they're just not as solid. They don't last as long. You'll pay maybe about 50 bucks for one of these guys. So uh, we'll check this stuff out more in the future.